So here's the question for today. What is the number one thing I can do to increase my close rate? The number one thing I can do to increase my close rate. Well, listener, uh, and I don't have a name here, you're in luck because I'm going to give you two. <laughs> Not just one, but wait, there's more. I'm going to give you two. Uh, and this, is, this is one of my favorite topics in selling. People think about close rate, and uh, it's always the one that sales managers want to, want to track. One of their dashboard items is close rate. Uh, but a lot of people also want to propose like crazy to everybody that has a heartbeat. And, of course, what that does is it just messes up your close rate and messes up your time. And, and, and Joe talked about being a steward of not just your money but other resources. So one of those great resources is time. And any sales professional that's spending a lot of time and effort chasing down deals that aren't really deals and proposing and quoting and presenting and so on, that's just crazy stewardship it's just not stewardship at all bad stewardship really but it also ruins your close rate so the number one way to, to increase your close rate is to qualify like crazy and only propose and present and demonstrate like gene cell systems so demonstrations are part of this quoting presenting proposing only to people who qualify and what's qualify well they've got to have pain that you can fix that they need fixed in the short term. Uh, they have to have a budget that they're willing and able to invest in the short term in this ballpark, but they have to be willing and able to invest short term. And they have to have a decision-making process that you ask them about and you understand completely and are willing to go through. You know, the who, what, when, where, why, how of how this thing's going to go down. So pain, budget, decision-making process. Those three things, if you spend your time on those conversations, you'll know. You'll know if you should propose or not. And, if, and once you know, when you do propose, your close rate's going to go way up. Here's number two. The second way to really increase your close rate is to make sure that your prospect is committed to taking action in the short term. Because they'll say, oh, yeah, I really need that fixed. Absolutely. That's just a big deal. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, we got a budget for that. And they'll say, yeah, so, you know, I'm a, I make this decision and I run it by so-and-so, but it's a pretty much a rubber stamp and we're going to do this. That's what they say to salespeople. But in reality, not everybody who says that is truly committed to taking action in the short term. So if you just have that conversation, and in, in our world we call this SVIC. Uh, S stands for summarize the pain. So you talk about the pain and then you summarize it, make sure you got that straight. Give the, the uh, prospect a chance to to uh, to add more to it or to tell you you missed it a little bit, and eventually you get it right. V stands for validate, that you understand and that you can do this. And that doesn't mean, doesn't mean going on and on and on about how wonderful you are. It just means to say to the prospect, Gene, that's the kind of stuff we fix and we're good at it. That's it. No more. Just that one sentence and with that one comma in it, and that's enough. It just gives the prospect the idea that they're talking to the right person and gives them that nice, safe feeling. But then comes the tough part because you got the S, which is summarize. You got the V, which is validate. Then you got to say, Gene, you know what? I wonder how important this is to you. Is this in your top three things you're working on? What's the priority on this, on getting this done? And then be quiet and listen carefully. And if, and if Gene tells me, you know what, Al, this is in my top three, this is maybe number one, I've got to get this done, then I'll say this. Appreciate you telling me that, Gene. Thank you for that. And you know what, that, I hear that a lot, actually. I hear a lot that this is number one. Got to fix this. And you know what I find, Gene, is that not everybody who says that to me is actually committed, that's the C, committed to taking action in the short term with me or someone like me. So I've got to ask you, Gene, are you committed to taking action in the short term on this with me or someone like me. And the next thing that Gene says is going to tell the future right there. <laughs> Whether you're going to be a closer or not? Yeah, where this is something that I need to invest more of my time, effort, and resources on to, to help Gene choose us. right? Or if, should I part friends and maybe decide we're going to talk again in six months or whatever and then spend my time back on business-wise looking for the next opportunity. There you go. Or ask for a referral. 
or ask for a referral. Here we go. Thank you, Gene. All right, so that's the uh, Ask Al segment, the sales tip of the day. Increase your close rate by qualifying better and by making sure the prospect is committed to taking action in the short term. And your close rate will go up. It will.